Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. We are here today to talk about what we are going to be seeing in the free update 1.8 coming to Planet Zoo on December 14th. That's just about one week away. So we only have about eight days until we get our hands on this. So I wanted to jump into the forum post and go over exactly what we're going to see. So the first thing we already knew that we were getting is going to be restaurants. Restaurants are making their way to Planet Zoo. From fine dining to fast food, serve your guests a unique culinary experience with this new feature. With up to 20 tables able to be connected per restaurant, flexi color table options, and table placement even being available in safe habitats, you've got the freedom to let your creativity run wild. For a full rundown of what you can expect, you can click that and take a look at the previous forum post that will be able to tell you more details. But this is something I didn't catch before, being available in safe habitats. Can we actually make restaurants and habitats with animals walking around? If that was announced before, I completely missed it. I love that feature, that's very exciting. Realistic? Not really. I mean, I imagine the animals in real life would come up and try to steal your food um, or guests would be naughty and try to feed them, but very cool nonetheless. This next one is probably my favorite part of the entire update. We're getting invisible shops. So shop counters. Restaurants aren't the only new way your guests will be able to enjoy their time at your zoo. Introducing shop counters. This alternate option of creating stores will provide you with a counter only version for an assortment of shops, allowing you to create your own custom shop designs. Check out this list of what shop counters will be available. So we're getting Bernie's Bakes, Chief Beef, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes, Gulpy Energy, Gulpy Slush, Hot Dog Squad, Pip Shop, smoothies and street fox coffee look at this how easy is that going to be to hide in buildings and things i am so excited about this invisible shops getting rid of those big shop boxes that stick out through the roofs when you try to build things you can build custom counters around this so excited. The possibilities are endless. We've had that invisible shop mod for quite a while, but the fact that this is coming to the actual vanilla game, so excited. For somebody especially like me that doesn't play with mods, I am super excited about this. This is going to add a whole nother level of customizability to our parks, and I cannot wait. I was looking in this picture and I don't think I see anything new per se, but obviously like all of these things, this little drum, the beads, the basket, all of those are not going to come with the actual counter. It looks like the counter is just this little table, this little screen, and a couple things on top of it. Obviously this awning is also not part of it. So you can see it's just going to be this little table that you can kind of decorate around and hide in stuff. So so, yay, I'm so excited. But then we move on to more. We've got a couple more things that are animal related. So the first one being burrows. Dig deep down with our new animal burrowing behavior just in time for winter. This will allow certain animals to explore burrows that can be freely placed in your zoos, giving them a place to seek shelter, sleep, adjust to the correct temperature, or even give birth. The entrance to the burrow will always align with the terrain, which leads to an underground chamber that will position itself itself below the entrance. But that's not all. The burrows will come with internal habitat cameras that you can access through the burrow info panels so you can see exactly what's happening underground. Plus, with the ability to link them to billboard screens, this means your guest won't miss out either. Is this hinting at the fact that we are going to get a DLC alongside this update? Possibly, that is historically what we've seen in the past. So is the fact that Burrows is coming hinting at the new animals in that pack are going to be burrowing animals? I sure hope so. As of right now, I don't know anything, so I am just as hopeful as you guys is getting a new DLC alongside this update, so we'll have to keep our fingers crossed. But let me know, what do you think it might be? Is this update giving 
giving you any hints on what you think the animals might be? Has it solidified any of your suspicions <laughs> so far? Because um, for me, it's kind of a, a, a crapshoot as far as what I actually think we're going to be getting. So I have no, no idea. But burrowing animals would be great. Something like a badger or something like that that would burrow down underground would be fantastic. The last thing we're getting is animal memorials. So lastly, we know that losing your animals is never easy and that's why we're adding animal memorials into the game. Give your beloved inhabitants a proper dedication to ensure that while they may be gone, they're never forgotten and will always be a part of your zoo. This will be split into two parts, a new UI section to keep track of the animals that have passed away in your zoos and physical memorials that you can place as tribute to specific animals. Wow, we could have used these in Tully Zoo and we had all those animals dying, except for then, I think we'd end up with like a hall of dead animals. So maybe, maybe use it when you don't have so many animals pass away or when you have just a couple that are special to you that pass away. But anyway, moving on, the memorials UI will be added as a new screen to the zoo overview UI and will contain two lists, one to track habitat deaths and one for exhibit animals. You will find info on each animal that has passed, including their name, age, date of death, and cause of death. This will have a max entry level of 200, so if you have a particularly busy zoo with several generations of animals, your oldest animals may end up overwritten. Don't worry though, if you have animals you want to ensure stay on the list, we've added the ability to mark entries as favorites, which protects them from being deleted. Okay, that's good. So you can. You can go through and pick just your favorite animals and kind of memorialize just them. Please note this UI will be backdated to include existing animal data, but cause of death was not previously stored, so this field may be empty for deaths prior to the 1.8 update. Aha! So it'll work for animals that have already passed away in your zoo before this update comes out, but it won't have the date, uh, or I'm sorry, the cause of death. Uh, on that there. So very cool. From this menu, you can select an animal and then choose a memorial asset to place into the world. When creating memorial, you will be given two tabs of options. The first overview will show you a summary of all content on the memorial and will let you adjust the custom image or font color. Oh, cool. Depending on the asset. The second tab, Animal Information, will let you adjust animal-specific information such as what information is shown or adding a dedication line. When choosing what dedication to make, you'll be able to choose from three memorial assets. So we have a memorial plaque screen, a memorial plaque editable sign, that's brass, I'm assuming, and a memorial editable sign editable, not edible, editable sign that's limestone. Very cool. And it looks like down below we have a little picture of what that might look like. I'm assuming that one is going to be the limestone one. On top of this, you should wish to create an animal memorial for an animal outside your zoo, such as a real world pet. You can do this too. Oh, that's so sweet. Simply place a blank memorial and edit it manually to include the right information. Guests in your zoo will interact with your memorials by viewing them if they are close by, stopping to read the dedication, and then receiving a small boost due to appreciation of fond memories with the animal. We hope these various memorial features allow you to create meaningful dedications to your beloved animals, both from within and outside of Planet Zoo. That's so sweet that you can do them for outside animals as well. Very cool. So yeah, I'm assuming this one is the limestone plaque that you get to put down and uh, and look at there. Of course, as always, these features come alongside various tweaks and fixes that will be included in the patch notes upon release. We hope you're excited for this new content as we're certainly excited to bring it to you and see what new dimension it brings to your zoo builds. We have more news for you soon, so keep an eye out on our socials and here on the forums. Before that, join us today. Uh, on Twitch and YouTube for a special stream. Grab a blanket, get a hot chocolate. Uh, the recipe that Bernie released would be perfect and settle down for cozy vibes with Elle and Tim. See you there. Ooh, fantastic. I wonder what they're going to announce today on Twitch and YouTube. We'll have to stop by and see. But what do you guys think going over this free update? Like I said in the beginning, historically, we have always seen 
a DLC come with a free update like this? So is that a hint that the DLC has been pushed up and we are in fact getting one in December? Because if you guys remember, we only got the last DLC in October. So three months out would technically be January time, like end of January time. So have they moved it up? Are they going to give it to us sooner? One can only hope, right? And as far as this one goes, I honestly have no idea what to expect. And I really don't have any other super strong hopes other than birds. So I don't think if we're getting a burrowing mechanic, I don't think birds is very likely, probably some more terrestrial animals, uh, but you never know. They could surprise us. They could go 180 and this could just be uh, back added to animals that already burrow in the game, like meerkats and prairie dogs and, and things like that in the Arctic fox. Um, but it could also just be hinting at a brand new animal. So let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you're hopeful for, what you think the next DLC might be. And of course, if I get any news that I am able to share about that, I will jump on here and let you guys know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button down below, comment, answer my questions. Let me know what you might think. Subscribe for more. And until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.